Hello and welcome to the channel. Since we are now in the last month of the year and there are a lot of holiday deals happening, I wanted to continue the shopping guide series. So today we are looking at the top 5 TP-Link routers worth buying right now based on performance, features, reliability and overall value. And just like the ASUS video I uploaded before this, I try to keep these buying guide videos educational as well. So even if you are considering different TP-Link models, the info here should hopefully Hopefully, help you compare specs, decide whether you need Wi Fi 6, Wi Fi 6E, or Wi Fi 7, and avoid overspending. Prices change very fast during the holiday season, so please check the links in the video description for the most up to date pricing and deals. The routers here in this video are listed from number 5 to number 1, but that doesn't mean number 1 is automatically better for everyone. Each router on this list is meant for different people, different setups, and different budgets. So pick the one that actually fits your needs. Alright, let's get started with number 5. Number 5 is the TP-Link Archer AX55 and I've talked about this router many times on this channel. That is because in my opinion it is one of the most reliable budget Wi-Fi 6 routers TP-Link makes, especially now that it is around 65 US dollars. It is a dual band router with 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz, offering a combined theoretical speeds of about 3 gigabits per second. Now, when it comes to Wi-Fi speeds, here is what really matters. The numbers that you see on the boxes are theoretical, meaning in real-world scenarios, due to interference, distance, walls, device limitations, and many other factors I've explained before on this channel, you are almost never going to hit those exact speeds. How However, these numbers are still very useful. They help you compare routers and understand what kind of Wi-Fi technology each model has. So for example, when a router is labeled AX3000, it simply means the hardware, the Wi-Fi 6 features inside are capable of reaching that level in theory, even though real world results will always be lower. That is the key idea to keep in mind. The AX55 includes OFDMA, multi-user MIMO, VPN server and client, Easy Mesh, and TP-Link's Home Shield security. Coverage is great for apartments or small to medium-sized homes thanks to the four external antennas and beamforming. If you're upgrading from an older Wi-Fi 5 router or just want something fast, stable, and affordable, the AX55 is one of the best deals available right now under $70. Number 4 is the Archer BE230, a dual band Wi-Fi 7 router that is currently around $87, which is great value for what you're getting. To explain this one properly, let me compare it directly with the previous router, the AX55. So for about $20 more, you move from Wi-Fi 6 to Wi-Fi 7. Yes, it is still dual band and there is no 6 GHz band, but many Wi-Fi 7 improvements still apply to the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands. The theoretical Wi-Fi speed here is 3.6 gigabits per second compared to 3 gigabits per second on the AX55. You also get two 2.5 gig ports while the AX55 is limited to all 1 gig ports. So for many people that extra $20 is absolutely worth it. Not just for the Wi-Fi upgrade but also for the more future proof wired ports. Especially if your internet plan eventually goes above 1 gigabits per second. But if you don't need multi-gig speeds and you don't have many devices at home to connect, the AX55 could be more than enough. So it really depends on your requirements. Number 3 is the Archer AX E75, a Wi-Fi 6E tri-band router that basically gives you the extra 6 GHz band without needing to pay Wi-Fi 7 prices. So in simple terms, you get 3 bands but all using Wi-Fi 6 technology. No Wi-Fi 7 features here. But that new 6 GHz band still brings some major benefits for some people. For example, zero interference from older devices, much cleaner and wider channels, lower latency, excellent performance for VR, 
gaming and high speed downloads. You get up to 5.4 gigabits per second Wi-Fi speed, a solid quad core processor, and all the usual TP-Link features like Home Shield, VPN, and Easy Mesh compatibility. Coverage is strong, and it handles multiple devices really well. If I compare it directly to the previous router, the BE230, the biggest advantage here is the 6 GHz band. For people living in crowded areas or dealing with heavy interference on 2.4 and 5 GHz, that third band can be a game changer. But in terms of wired ports, the AXE75 only offers 1 GB ports, while the BE230 gives you two 2.5 GB ports. So that's something to keep in mind if you want multi gig internet. Right now it is around $116, which makes it a fantastic middle ground between Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 7. Number 2 is the Archer BE800, TP-Link's high-performance Wi-Fi 7 router with a unique vertical design and LED front display. This is a true tri-band Wi-Fi 7 system with multi-link operation, 320 MHz channels, up to 19 gigabits per second combined Wi-Fi speeds, 8 high-performance antennas, 2 10 gig ports, 4 2.5 gig ports, and of course you still get TP-Link's usual feature set. For example, home shield security, easy mesh support for expanding coverage, and several VPN options for both remote access and privacy. This router is extremely fast, great for multi-gig fiber, gaming PCs, and homes with many Wi-Fi 7 devices. At around $297, it is one of the best values in high-end Wi-Fi 7 right now. For number one, I wanted to include a mesh ready option because a lot of people need extended Wi Fi for larger homes, long hallways, or multi floor layouts. And in terms of pure value, the best pick right now is the TP Link Deco XE75. For around $200, you're getting a Wi Fi 6E tri band mesh system that can cover up to 7200 square feet with three nodes. The 6 GHz band gives you clear channels and far more stable performance, especially for backhaul between nodes, and the mesh system automatically optimizes signals as you move around your home, so coverage should stay consistent. For most people who want whole home Wi-Fi without spending a fortune, the Deco XE75 offers the best balance of speed, stability, and coverage. Now that being said, TP-Link does have more powerful flagship mesh systems, like the Deco BE85, which is Wi-Fi 7 and absolutely incredible but even on sale it is still around $900 so there's a huge gap in price that's why in terms of value the XE75 is the one I recommend for the number one spot so those are my top TP-Link picks for 2025 and even going into 2026. From affordable Wi-Fi 6 routers all the way to powerful Wi-Fi 7 options and even mesh systems. As always, make sure to check the links in the video description for the latest prices and deals because things change fast during the holiday season. I've also made several tutorial videos covering the features I might have only touched on here. Things like mesh setups, VPN, quality of service and Wi-Fi troubleshooting. I'll link those in the video description in case you want to dive deeper before choosing a router. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Share it if you think others might like it too. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you again and I'll see you next time.